Hello, welcome to Screen Talk with yours truly, Nam Fanel Malloy. So I want to talk about the box office, particularly with the 2024 box office. So over this past weekend, uh, there were two major movies that came out. Um, Furiosa, which is a prequel to Mad Max Fury Road, and the reboot of Garfield. So both movies uh, did not do well in terms of expectations. So in particularly with Furiosa, uh, that made about 32.3 million domestic and 32.8 million worldwide, which is not off to a good start, particularly with the budget for that movie being around 170 million. So, and it's been reported that uh, this weekend in, ter in terms of Memorial Day weekend in the States um, is bad compared to uh, previous years. So, yeah, which really brings like a, a bigger picture in terms of the underperformance of this year's uh, box office. So, I mean, there's like a multitude of I'm, I'm sure reasons why that's the case. Um, I think it comes down to probably the quality of the movie and also to the marketing of the movie, but also to maybe uh, with some consumers are just tired of seeing like the same typical movies in theaters, I suppose. But then also too, it could be like the habits where uh, people would rather wait to see certain movies at home versus rushing out to the theater to see them. So there's a, there's a lot of factors onto why this is uh, the case. So I was listening to a recent episode of The Town podcast with Matt Bellany. I'll put a link in the description. And basically he and uh, Lucas, the guest, they were discussing yeah, the performance of Furiosa and trying to paint a bigger picture on the summer box office this year and with the box office uh, as a whole this year. So I recommend you guys check that out. But um, yeah, like it's a huge question mark on what is the state of the box office? Because I would say for me, as of right now, at the time of this recording, it's very worrisome because um, there haven't been much box office hits in terms of movies breaking even. I think the few are um, Dune Part 2 and uh, Godzilla x Kong, I believe. So um, if I'm wrong, just let me know in, in the comment section. But I know those two were the big movies. Also, too, with Kung Fu Panda for, and I'm sure there's others that I can't remember right now. But... Um, I do hope for things to turn around, but just based on what's coming out, let's say if we're focusing on the summer specifically, I am not too sure if things can uh, turn around. Because I know next month we have what Bad Boys Ride or Die coming out June 7th. That is up against uh, the horror movie The Watchers. It's directed by M. Night Shyamalan's daughter. So I, I really don't know because it's interesting that the other day, when the final trailer for the Bad Boys movie came out, it had low views on YouTube and it came out the same day as um, this other movie by Sony. I think it's called It Ends With Us. It's an adaptation of, of a book. It's with uh, Blake Lively as, as the lead. And it's very interesting because that movie with the trailer on the uh, Sony Pictures uh, YouTube account, that has... Uh, I believe around 16 million views, while with the Bad Boys, with the final trailer, around uh, 530,000 views, which is really telling. I think it just shows that people are not interested with the Bad Boys movie. I mean, who knows? Maybe that could be nothing when the movie actually comes out, but just based on those numbers, it just seems like people are not that hyped about that movie. But again, we shall see what happens. And I just really hope um, that for this, I think for on the studio side, there needs to be an emphasis on the lower and mid-budget movies because you can't just keep 
putting out the very high budget movies, hope expecting a big return, just because like it's a big IP movie does not guarantee huge box office results. Because we've seen that especially last this past year with the movies that came out, particularly with The Flash and Indiana Jones. So there needs to be a variety of um, of movies to get uh, people from different groups to to come out. Because um, it reminds me of um, with Cord Jefferson when he did his uh, Oscar speech earlier this year, where he mentioned we need more ten to twenty million dollar budget movies and so forth. And yeah, like that really rings true because we need more variety of those movies. Because if you just keep putting out the same products, it's it's gonna turn people away. And. Yeah, that's pretty much it, what I really had to say in terms of the box office. But again, we shall see what happens. And I do want to point out that I've seen a series of tweets over the weekend where people try to come up with excuses as to why the Furiosa movie uh, underperformed, which range from, oh, because of pandemic to, oh, because of the, the strikes and all that stuff. And I, I don't really buy that to be honest because I think with Furiosa why that underperformed in my opinion is because it's a prequel because prequels tend not to do well unless if you're able to create its own thing like with the Star Wars prequels for example and also too with uh, marketing because for me like the trailers were okay but just it didn't really do enough to sell me on why and why should I see this movie but I think, yeah, too, that could apply to a lot of movies not doing well. I think because, yeah, there's the quality of the movie, but also to um, the marketing. Because marketing could make or break. And if you don't do the marketing right, it's, it's going to be a bust. And also, too, it just shows that just because you have the good reviews and the online hype, does not translate to sales because you need you need to get the normies um, as how people would put it to uh, come out in support. And yeah, that's pretty much it what I have to say. So let me know in the comment section, what do you guys think about the summer box office and the box office in general? Uh, uh, also to share your reasons why you think Furiosa underperformed at the box office and um, yeah, just post all that in the comment section. Also, too, you could find links to my socials. And also, too, you could support the channel on uh, Buy Me A Coffee, which is in the description. And I want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I hope to catch you on the next one. Mm -hmm.